Petrus is a method for pyraminx, where first you solve a bar, which is called a backbone. Then you orient the edges. I need to switch these two. And then you solve the rest of the cube to gen. Backbone is a very similar method, except you combine the creating a bar step and the edge orientation step into one step that you look ahead in inspection. But I'm terrible at pyraminx look ahead, so I'm not going to teach you that at all, but it's fairly easy to figure out from the tutorial. In 2007, Michael Gottlieb developed a new method called half backbone, where you orient two of the edges, and this takes a lot less inspection time and whatnot. So for example, for this, we can orient this edge and, uh, for the red side, and this one's already oriented. So this is now oriented, and now we have one of the EPL cases. These methods were later recorded in 2010 in a speed solving form post, and later that post was copied and pasted to the speed solving wiki on the list of pyramids methods. Then five years later, Kerry KH uh, developed an alg set for doing the two gen stage all in one look. And around that same time, Gyro Ninja also learned how to do half backbone. The first step is solving tips. Next, you make a bar. For this tutorial, I'm going to have a red and yellow bar, and we're going to place this in the back with blue on the bottom and green on the top. But in the actual method, you want to be color neutral. We now need to define some things. So there's a top side and a bottom side. For our tutorial, the top side will be green and the bottom side will be blue. And there are two edges that are here and here that are considered top edges. So that's this and this because they have the top color, but not the bottom color. And likewise for the bottom, there's this and this, which have the bottom color, not the top color. And there's the middle edge, which has both the top and bottom color. A top or bottom edge is considered oriented if it is facing towards its side or away from the other side. So for example, a top edge would be considered oriented if it's facing towards the top side here, like this, or here, like this or facing away from the bottom side here like this, or like this. And a bottom edge would likewise be considered oriented if it's facing towards the bottom side here, here, or away from the top side here, or here. The middle is the exception to all of these rules. So the middle slot is flipped, but so is the middle piece. So that means that something in the middle slot like this, it appears to be a uh, an oriented edge because the bottom color is facing the bottom, but it's actually an unoriented edge. And likewise for uh, something like this, where the top color is facing away from the top, you can see that it's an unoriented edge. Something like this, where the middle edge is in the middle slot, the two flips cancel each other out, and you can see that the top is on the top and the bottom is on the bottom. Now you need to orient the edges. So in a case like this, where we have this unoriented and this unoriented, we can fix that by doing a down move to, on, to orient this, putting this in the position that this edge was, and then undoing the first move. This also works with U moves. In a case like this, where four edges are unoriented, uh, there isn't actually a thing like on 3x3 where you can do much, but you can still cancel out sometimes. So in this case, since these four are unoriented, you can cancel out a move by doing this. And now all the edges are oriented. We're now at a stage where the rest of the cube is 2gen. You can do this by one looking at and the algorithms are in the description if you want to learn to do that. But how I prefer to do it is by doing it fairly intuitively. First I solve an edge piece relative to its centerpiece, then I solve an edge piece relative to the other centerpiece, 
So for example, solving this here, and then you just need to insert one of the last pieces and the other two will be solved. As always, the first thing we do is to solve the tips. Next, we put in the bar, the backbone, and we can now check whether each edge is oriented or not. So this is unoriented, this is oriented, this is oriented, this is unoriented, and this is oriented. So we can switch these two by doing that. And now we have a two gen cube. This already has a match edge piece. So we should now uh, match an edge piece to the center. And we can do that with that. And now just insert the last piece and the rest of the cube itself. The advantages of using Petrus are that it's the simplest of these three to learn. And it also uses the least inspection time. But the main drawbacks are that it uses a lot of time during the solve to figure out what edges are oriented and non-oriented. For the backbone method, the main advantages are that you use a lot less time in the solve, but you use a lot more time with inspection. And the main advantages with half backbone are that you use a lot less time during inspection and during the solve, but you have a less efficient solution. For more arcane cubing knowledge, be sure to subscribe so you'll be notified when my next video comes out. And also, I want to give a big thank you to Gyro Ninja for helping me with this video, and both his website and his channel should be in the description.